Hello, everybody, and happy Mother's Day. I know that um, Mother's Day uh, can bring such joy, and I hope that you have had, um, if you are a mum of young children, that you have had your soggy cornflakes and a bit of lukewarm tea, and maybe you've had a beautiful bouquet of flowers or a very special handmade gift. Whatever is going on, I hope that you have a really, really good Mother's Day. I know that it can bring such pain as well because some some of you, some of us have lost our mums. Uh, some of us have never had a mum or, or maybe never had a mum that had really loved us. And uh, that can be really painful. Some of us are estranged from our mums, don't really know where they are. And the same with our children. For some people, they um, have lost their children. They, they've they died or they are estranged from them or else there's great pain in your relationship. And so whatever today, I really hope that you know uh, the love of God uh, with you right now. And uh, wh wh however you are celebrating or remembering, I pray that you know that God is with you. So we're thinking about how today we love each other. Uh, on Mother's Day, I guess, as you think about how you love your mum, but it's so important how we love each other. You know, Jesus talks about love as the most important thing ever. Uh, it's more important than anything else. How To love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your heart and your, all your might, and to love each each other, to love others as yourself, is the most important thing that Jesus says to us. And so we want to love. We want to express our love in any ways that we can. Corinthians says this, love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others. And it isn't always me first. Love doesn't fly off the handle and doesn't keep a score of the sins of others. It doesn't revel when others grovel. It takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. It puts up with anything and it trusts God always. Always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. To, that's such a powerful thing, isn't it, to read about love and what that means. Now, there's a brilliant book called Love Languages, and it explores all the ways that we can love each other. And love languages, here are the five love languages. There's acts of service, there's gifts, there's quality time, there's touch, and there's words of affirmation. And one of those may really be significant for you in a way that you love to be loved. And uh, it's really good to think about how we receive love and also how we give love. How do we give love to other people? So first of all, let's have a look at some of these ways that we can love because there's so much that we can learn. And often we talk about the love languages uh, as we're doing um, uh, premarital sessions with people just about to get married and really talk about how we practically can love each other. So acts of service. Acts of service basically is you putting out the bin, uh, making cups of tea, washing up, cleaning, uh, get in, in any way how you physically serve someone else, giving them a lift somewhere, acts of service. And for some people, acts of service is the main way that they receive love. And for some people, it's the main way that they give love. And it's such an important thing to look at how we practically serve each other in the church. How do we practically serve? serve in the church? How do we practically serve our children and um, our friends our, in our relationships? How do we practically give? And uh, is there more that we can do? The second thing is gifts. Uh, some people love to receive gifts. And I'm not here talking about massive, big, expensive gifts. I'm talking about thoughtful things that we do. It might be a pebble on the beach that you pick up and you say, um, this is shaped like a heart, I'm giving it to you. Or it might be um, picking flowers from your garden, uh, as well as, you know, going out and buying something or making something for someone. 
gifts are so important and I wonder if today Mother's Day you've received some gifts that are really heartfelt and that you'll remember forever and keep in your memory boxes because of the uh, thoughtfulness that goes behind those gifts. Gifts are a way of expressing love. Quality time is another way of expressing our love to each other. Just spending time completely off your phone, completely giving 100% of your time to that person, to your child, to uh, your other relationships, to your mum, to your dad. Spending quality time with that person can speak volumes about how you value and how you love someone. How are we using our time? And is that what is the most important thing for you in giving or receiving love? Touch. Touch is another one of the five love languages. Now, touch is so important. Hugging, loving, showing that you love somebody, holding their hand, um, I don't know, tickling their back. I, the ways that we can really love each other. I remember during the pandemic, uh, a lady who was single, who had been on her own for the whole of the pandemic, coming up and saying, nobody has touched me. Nobody has like hugged me now for over a year and it was such a painful thing to hear that that uh, had happened and I just wanted to hug her hug her and hug her touch is so important and then lastly words of affirmation the words that we speak can communicate so strongly our love when we say well done when we say I was proud of you for that when we say I loved it when you did that when we speak words of affirmation they can speak volumes about how we value someone I recently I've been with people uh, that have spoken to their loved ones just before they died and spoken about how they love them. And, you know, sometimes we uh, wait till somebody's died to speak our words of thankfulness and gratefulness and love. Let us be people that are very, very quick to tell each other how much we love each other. To those things that you think that are really good about other people, be quick to tell them, be quick to text them, be quick to communicate that in a card or some way. Let us speak words of affirmation to each other. So a few little ways that we can love each other. Um, let us think about each one of those ways. How do you receive love? Is it by acts of service? Is it the gifts? Is it quality time? Is it touch? Is it words of affirmation? Or is it all of those things? And how are you going to give love? How are you going to give love to your children? How are you going to give love to your parents? How are you going to give love to your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your friend? How do we give love? Let us practice and let us outdo each other in loving all the time. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much for every person that is online today. And I pray right now that they would know that they are loved, 100% completely loved by you. Even if they feel alone right now, I pray that they would know that you are with them. Help us, God, I pray, to love each other. Help us to think and be thoughtful about the ways that we love each other. Thank you, God, for your love. Amen.